Hi and welcome to Outwell. In this film I'm going to give you some hints and some tips on how to pitch a family tunnel design tent. Now the tent that we're going to show you in this film is our Montana 6P which is in our premium collection but what we show you here can apply um, to many different tents of a similar style whether they be bigger or smaller. <music> Tents this size normally come in two bags, one for the fly sheet and one with your poles. So we'll just empty out the poles and show you what to do next. So now that we've laid out all our poles, it's time to start putting them all together. This is made very easy because we have for each pole attached one end to the other with the wire in between here and that makes them very simple to put together. Now that you've assembled all of your poles and laid them out, what I would do is take two of your anchor pegs and just peg out the back two corners with them and uh, then you'll be ready to insert the roof poles. So now that we've pegged the back of the tent, all we need to do is take one of the curved roof poles um, and pop it through the rear sleeve. Now what I would say at this point is just make sure that um, if any of the poles are different lengths, we will have colour coded them. So just make sure that you get the right coloured pole in the right coloured sleeve if there are different uh, lengths of poles. So we'll just show you what to do here. Now, once your roof pole is in place, we just want to take this towards the back of the tent. And now we're going to attach our side poles. When you do this, just make sure that you follow the curve of the pole with the angle of the side pole. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach one side of the poles with the ring and pin. And you can see here that one side is fixed in place and that's the side to start with. Once that side is in place, you can start on the other side. And what we want to do is just make sure that the adjustment side is loosened off. So you just take the strap here and just make sure it's as loose as possible. And then we can pop that one in there. Once the adjustable side is in, just make sure that you tighten that up like so. So now that the back pole is in place, all we need to do is simply repeat the process for every roof pole and side pole. we're going to lift the tent up into position and then what we're going to do is walk the tent forwards from the back to the front. And then once you're in this position here we just need to peg out the front corners. So now that we've pegged out the front of the tent it's time to attach the fly sheet onto the frame. Now to do that, we just need to take these clips here and pop them around the poles, like so. And then don't forget your wind stabiliser system here, which just simply attaches with these Velcro tabs, pulling them around the pole and using this Velcro tab here to hold in place. Now once we do that all the way down, we'll leave the guy lines to be done later on. So now that we've attached the fly sheet to the frame of the tent, 
it's time just to finish off pegging. Now remember, you have your easy pegging system for these tents. So use your solid steel anchor pegs for the four corners. Use your black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the side of the tent. And use your luminous pegs for all of your luminous guy lines. For any of the tents that have a rain safe door, that would be the next thing to put in place. When it comes to taking down your tent, obviously you're going to take your poles out and dismantle them ready to go back in their bag. And then all we need to do is fold up our fly sheet to ensure that it's going to fit in the trolley bag that it came in. Now, what I'd say is when you come to put away your fly sheet is that if it's wet at all, what you should try and do is as soon as you get back or at your earliest convenience, try and dry this fly sheet out to ensure that you're not going to get any buildup of mould or mildew. So now, as I say, we'll just fold this up and show you how to put it back in the bag. So that was our hints and tips for pitching this style of tent. Thanks very much for watching.